<laughs> Margaret Hoven realized there was a need in her Washington, D.C. community, a need to teach adults with severe mental retardation the basic skills necessary to survive in society. What they really need to be able to learn are things that will help them be more independent and to learn them in a setting that is as realistic as possible. Margaret Hoven founded the Life Skills Center in 1974 to provide that setting. With gentle guidance and patient encouragement, the staff and volunteers at the center teach their clients basic life skills. Some of the clients help with the food shopping at the neighborhood grocery store. Let's go over here and we need some dish detergent. Mm -hmm. The experience provides an opportunity to interact with a part of society on a regular basis. The clients are also taught how to work together to complete a group task, such as preparing lunch. And they learn to be responsible for cleaning up after themselves. But perhaps most importantly, they are taught to take pride in themselves once they master a skill. You have to be able to see success in very small steps sometimes. I mean, if you work with someone on learning to print their name, and you work on it for months and months and months, and then they finally do get the first couple of letters, and they get them right, you know that you've done it right and that you're successful, and then you move on to the, the next thing. A few years ago, the center recognized a need to broaden its program, to teach courses that offer freedom of creative expression as well. With art as the medium, the clients have a way of expressing themselves to a society that often has a difficult time understanding them. Abstract images, repetitive patterns, and bursts of colors may be nothing more than random or coincidental. Then again, the startling complexity of some of their work indicates a comprehension and intelligence that defies the limitations of mental retardation. Our teacher, Wendy Kramer, says the clients seem to gain self-confidence through their art. You can really see the, uh, the involvement in the, in the communication and the joy that they, that they experience in it. They have opened up a lot more. They are a lot more um, courageous. They will use the whole paper. They come in and they're much more self-starting and they work for a much longer period of time. Through its practical and creative programs, the Life Skills Center is helping to serve the special needs of some very special people.